Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us the 100% truth. And honors and salutations to the elect document doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Week in, week out, in season and out of season. So, come on. <clears throat> what I want to entitle this man, you know, is... uh, You guys have some explaining to do, okay? The small hats have some explaining to do. Because... You know, here it is. And you know what? Let me, um... Okay, Khan. Because I want to get into this article here as well. Within this lesson. Matter of fact, let me start right now. This is, um... Wow, man. So this is from... The Daily Caller. It says, meet the celebrity... Brothers already seen this. Meet the celebrity endorsing uh, X movement expert calls the greatest threat to black Americans today. Now, within his article, you see that it says right here, unfortunately, now some of the you know what's and the you know who community are manipulating the black community to replace the ish people. And that's really dangerous. And that's really offensive to the ish people. Weiss noted. Now, <clears throat> it's insane, and they got some nerves to say that it's offensive to them, okay? What about us? What about us, man, trying to bury who we are? Because according to the Zanzivan Bible Dictionary, okay, who are your own people, Right. So-called W people, they said this in the Zanzibar Compact Bible Dictionary, it says Han. <clears throat> because, come on, the, the the jig is up, man, honestly, you know? I, I forget who said it, the jig is up, I forget, but uh, in all honesty, the jig is up, man. The games are done. It's over. Your little charade is over, man. Because you get Sim... From the three sons born to Noah after the flood. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So when you look at Ham in the Zanzivan Compact Bible Dictionary. It says Ham, the youngest son of Noah. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, meaning the father, of the dark races. <clears throat> Not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Which are your so-called African nations of today, man. The so-called African nations of today, they go back to him. But if the Negroes don't go back to him, then who the hell do they go back to? And what the hell is going on? If they don't go back to him... Then what the hell is going on? <clears throat> Who the hell are they? And if the so-called Negroes don't go back to him, then you know for damn sure that the so-called Hispanics of today and the so-called natives don't go back to him. So where do they go back to? Who do they go back to? And what the hell is going on, man? Okay? But this is why they make it a joke. To, to learn about your history. Oh, who cares? I was a long time ago and this and that. <clears throat> well, the Bible says, remember the old paths and remember the old way. Now, just to go into Zanzivan, this the Zanzivan, all right, company. A little background on them. And as you can see right here, they are so-called W people. So it's not like we went in there and we made this up. 
So it says, Zanzivan is a world-leading Bible publisher and provider of Christian communications with over 300 new original, all right, blah, 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 <coughs> academic resources and digital pro products for more than 80 years. Okay? Zanzivan publishes notable authors. I'm going to get into the scriptures as well, you know, Lord willing. Right, so it has notable authors. Right, I'm just skipping around. Brief history. Pat and Bernard Zanzivan started their religious publishing firm out of their mother's Michigan farmhouse in 1931 and published their first book, Women of the Old Testament, two years later. Zanzivan quickly became an established and trusted source for Christian content. And in 1971, the company was approached by the Committee on Bible Translation to be the sole North American licensee for the new international translation. Zanzibar published the full NIV Bible for the first time in 1978. Within a decade, it became the best-selling English language version of the Bible, a position it holds to this day. All right, Zanzibar has remained dedicated to producing quality Christian content with integrity. Who? Who? In integrity? They are living up to. It says Zanzman has remained dedicated to producing quality Christian content with integrity. And they are certainly living up to that. Because the definition of him is totally 100% on point. So they are producing quality so-called Christian content with integrity, man. They do have an integrity to uh, include that. They may be Israelites, man. They may be Israelites. They may just very well be Israelites. Because integrity, Esau doesn't have integrity. Okay? Unless you how about my shot to put the spirit on them. Because they have the power and the juice to bring this out. Or they could be Israelites. <coughs> but either way, as you can see, they are legit. And they're not even Negroes themselves. But here it is. They... Uh, 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 said not the Negroes within the ham definition. So to take it back here, these 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 uh, 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 these damn demons, man! These evil, wicked, filthy, disgusting demons, man! Got the nerve to say, and that's really offensive to the ish. But here it is. We can't get offended at you trying to bury who we are, who we truly are. Because if we don't go back to him, it's because we go back to Shem. And if we go back to Shem, then what's our lineage? Which of the five sons of uh, Shem do we do we go to? And then we know it's not Elam. All right. We know it's not Ashur. Okay. We know it's not Aram, Lud. But through Arafax, down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. So for you to say that you're getting really offensive, you could, you could, you could, you could, uh, uh and <clears throat> you ain't shit, man. And this is all uh, the book of Psalms. But see, this is all part of Psalms 83. <clears throat> Psalms 83 and 1, a song. A song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thy silence, O Most High. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Most High. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So hey, a part of this, a part of their crafty counsel is that hey, let's let's make them think that they come from Ham. Let's make them, uh, uh, yeah, let's make them think that they're Africans. Let's not teach them in our school systems, you know. Or let's not teach them anything about being Israelites. Let's just make them be so-called Christians or Africans or whatever, man. 
anything but claiming uh, to be an Israelite. But here it is, they they getting offended. You see, these devils got some fucking nerves, man. All right, and this is why the Lord said, who shall stand up for me against the evildoers, man? Against the workers of iniquity. Because you're working iniquity. Yahweh Shai himself said, um, spoke upon putting a stumbling block, roughly paraphrasing, before thy brother. I mean, you're teaching a, 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 a wrong doctrine to your brother and you're making him go off. How much more totally stripping down and taking away completely being an Israelite, period. How much more, you know, will you be will you be punished for that? It's one thing to go off on a doctrine, but how much more for, for telling our people that you're not even the Israelites at all? Therefore, you don't have to follow not one little statute of commandment or nothing. Your power ain't your how about your mouth shy. How much more are you going to be punished for that? These fucking devils, man. They got some serious, pure nerves. And this is why it says, for low thy enemies make a tumult, because they are enemies, man. Okay, this is why we need the Hell Bashim Al Shai, man. We need the Lord to return, man, and, and, and fight for us, man. It's offensive to them <laughs> to, to uh, uh, call ourselves the true you know what. So what the hell should we uh, call ourselves then, man? You care to explain? Fucking devils. So, hey, low one was edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.